Hey guys, welcome back to the EA Sports FC 24 Stephen H career mode. Back to back days with an update. Well, not an update, with an upload right here. But today it's going to be a very, very crazy video. Crazy episode ahead. Of course, we are heading towards the end of the season four. Of course, our first year in the Premier League. Again, we're not doing very well in the Premier League, and we're kind of somewhat, you know, compensating by playing well in the cup of course we lost in the last episode against liverpool in the cowboy cup again nobody expects us to win with the squad that we have but you know what the fact that we're able to go all the way i know we have a relatively easy draw throughout the whole campaign but still being in the final it's an honor and even though we didn't do quite well with the result but i'm at least uh, to say the least at least i'm quite happy with the fact that we are, you know, the finalists of 2027 uh, Cowboy Cup. So right here, we are playing in the FA Cup of the quarterfinal against Spurs. This is going to be a very interesting one. Um, while we recorded this gameplay probably a few weeks ago, uh, it would have been awesome to actually do a live commentary about it because you guys will probably probably find the reaction a little bit hilarious than just me commentating right here sitting on a chair so yes yeah, so this is pretty much the the matham this is the game where i thought you know what has ea gone bad because i've witnessed something that i never witnessed never seen in pretty much my 10 years of playing fifa or ea or games generated and created by ea but today, this is the game where I do want to talk about. So, I mean, so far the game has been relatively going on both ways, actually, because both teams are scoring amazing goals. Both teams are not giving up. Both teams are actually determined to be in the semifinal, to play in the Wembley. But again, this is a great shot from Lewis Miley. I know his weak foot is around, what, three-star, but never would have imagined that he pulled out, you know, that part of the gameplay. But this is the stuff that I'm talking about. If you guys can probably hear the background, something is going on. I just make some changes, go into the extra time, and then, you know, just making simple changes here, right? And then out of nowhere, when I press resume gameplay, I just couldn't press it. And once I press it, this is the next scene I see. Udogi have scored the winner. Wait, 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 wait. We wind that and process that part. How did Udogi score when I'm not actually playing the game? I was just making a very simple substitution in the second half of the, what, what do you call it? The second half of the extra time. And this is the shit that I see. And this is the weirdest, the worst glitch I've ever seen in my whole life. And I don't even remember playing this part of the gameplay. Once I press resume, this shit happened. I didn't even control any of the players. And I don't know when we score or when they score. And Udo, Udo gave score the winner. And I just can't, guys. I, I, I just can't. I have done something I've never done throughout my whole career as a career mode player. But I have to restart the game from the start. I mean... I try to play through the rest of the game, trying to find like some sort of equalizer and couldn't find an equalizer, but this is where enough is enough. I've done something. I've never done anything like this before. I decided to restart the game. I know I'm going to lose all the progress. I know I'm going to lose all the credibility, but it's literally our first year as a Steven H team to go into the semifinal and the game just screw us up big time just like that all right i don't mind losing the game like i literally don't mind losing the game but the fact that we went down with a very unfair unjust result this is where i draw the line this is where i decided to make a move that i never made in years or in a long long time i don't know if you can restart you know career mode in a few a uh, few years ago but yeah so i decided to do this i know you guys might not be happy. You guys might not think it might be realistic in regards to that. But hey, if if you guys were in my position, this is exactly what you would do as well. I mean, we have a chance to play in the Wembley. We might have a chance to be the finalists of the FA Cup. We might be able, or we might have the chance to, to win the FA Cup and just completely screw over 360, 180, or 720. It doesn't even make sense. Buy the game just like that. 
And I know I will take all the blame. I will take all the criticism. I will take all whatever you guys might throw at me, you know, with this gameplay. But I just have to. You know what? At least give us a chance, right? Starting from the bottom, starting from nil-nil. And this time we won 4-1. Again, I don't, I don't feel like, I didn't feel like that was a win. I don't, I don't think that was a proper win for us, unfortunately. It's just, it just has to happen. Like, this is one of those games where I, I simply do not enjoy this aspect of EA. It's the fact that there's still so many glitches going on, just random glitches. I don't, I try to search it up on Reddit to see if anybody has encountered this kind of, um, this kind of situation before. Well, nobody encountered that situation before. And comment down in the comment section below, guys. Uh, if you guys have encountered something like that, some weirdest glitch you have seen in your whole life that you have experienced, right? Only you have experienced. So, well, of course, the, the result might not be the most exciting result despite beating Spurs, what, three times already? Is it three times? No, 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 no. I think, yeah, three times already in this campaign. I mean, we won both home and away in the uh you know in the league and right now we we beat them in the quarterfinal of the fa cup again still it doesn't feel like a game to me but right now we're traveling back home playing against arsenal they're not doing very well actually in the league which is i found it very surprising with the squad that they have they keep playing youngsters and this is another glitch that 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 ea has is the fact that they they don't put out the the, the greatest squad or you're the strongest squad of a team they usually mix them with some uh, some youngsters as well and uh right now 2-1 and all of a sudden it was just one header from martinelli they have equalized the game 2-2 it was a good header uh but honestly you gotta doubt the defense just a little bit Setting four minutes right here uh pretty much towards the end of the game that was a good pass from from jimenez but martinelli with a great great finish Seeing our left back, Elijah Spencer, move up just a little bit, allowing him to take the space on and score. And right now, 78 minutes in, pretty much the last part of the gameplay. Everybody just making 180 turn inside the box. It's so funny from Paul Vanner to Miller to, uh, what's his name, uh, to Arthur Bruce. Everybody made a one, 180 turn in order to find that winner. We did that. 3-3. Three, three. And right now, I still don't remember. how I, I'm sure we won. A, a Premier League game last time, but again, this is pretty much the the part of the game or part of the season where you know what we just gotta pick one, right? Either the league or uh, or the FA Cup. Right now, I mean, the FA Cup priority it's way higher than the league because right now we we weren't doing good. We haven't been picking up good form, sitting at fourteenth with thirty five points, and I'm sure we are only what six. Five, five, six point, five, seven points away from relegation zone. So again, we're playing our best team in two different fronts right now. So back to back home games again. Crystal Palace first half, great header from uh, Archie Gray. I don't know if they've scored a goal for us, maybe once or twice, but that was a very good delivery, a very good goal to score. Taking one nothing lead, thirty four minutes in. Here comes Schofield making his debut or starting debut for the club actually. Number we're at number fifty six. Again, I feel like he has a much higher ceiling than our right back or our backup right back, uh Lambikisa. And of course he's pretty much the second in command. But look at look at Schofield go. This guy has been amazing. Now all of a sudden a great through ball. Thirty nine minutes in. Van Duven with the goal. He is back from injury, by the way, which means Babbage is going to be sit down. Well, will be sit down, you know, for the remainder of the fixtures. Even though after we signed him, he has been amazing. I mean, he has been scoring not like, of course, not the prettiest goal, right? Not the prettiest goal, but has been scoring some very important goals for us. I believe he has what scored seven or eight goals. Lewis Miley pulled out another cannon. This one is for the uh, the the first what the first leg or the first game. Against Spurs, which it was canceled out because of the glitch. And for nothing already, we have been looking fantastic. Babbage coming on off the bench, scoring a goal, making a 5 0. I think this is probably the biggest win that we have, if I remember right. This is the biggest win that we have. And it's against Crystal Palace. And they're sitting at 13 as well. I mean, we are pretty much fighting for. Well, we're not quite fighting for anything. That's a funny thing. We were fighting for FA Cup, but in terms of the league, we aren't really fighting for anything. Like, maybe top table if we can. And right now, 86 minutes in, we conceded one goal, but Bavich 1 1 goalkeeper, brilliant chip. 
over the goalkeeper makes a 6-1 with a five goal difference five goal margin right here certainly that five goal margin is going to boost our goal difference in general again i don't think our goal difference might be the greatest because again we score a lot we concede a lot we were at negative nine in terms of goal difference right now we went back up to negative four uh tying the same with uh, uh with brantford as well but again those that win was massive you know keep us in check of course we're sitting at 13 right now not making much of a difference after the last game but certainly it could be a sign that things are starting to roll again right now back to back to back home games you don't see that quite often in the game or even in real life where you play three consecutive home league fixtures at home and we're playing against Newcastle United, 37 minutes in, Len Miller, great turn, great finish as well. One thing I realized in this game, it's that Bruno Fernandes is playing for Newcastle United. I mean, what on earth is that game? Right before halftime, great finish by Arthur Bruce. Arguably, goalkeeper should have done just a slightly better with that positioning, with that save as well. And here comes a corner kick from Newcastle United, heads it away by two players. And right now, this is the beauty of our counter attack. Here comes Lennon Miller finding Arthur Bruce. I thought he was offside for a second, but right there, one on one with the goalkeeper, smashed that one to bottom left foot, uh, bottom left corner. But look at the goalkeeper. Didn't really stand a chance. He was in the wrong footing already. He thought Arthur Bruce was going to sweat it. You know what? Sweat it to, to Babbage or to our another striker. But Arthur Bruce got to give all the flowers to him. He finished it himself. In the end, pretty much we conceded in the last game of the game. 3-1. So back-to-back -back wins. And this is the funniest part. When you look at a margin between United or even Spurs to, to Crystal Palace, it's only... An eight point different, which means that if we are good enough, if we are lucky enough, if we play well enough, we might be able to be, you know, in the conference league. Like, we don't know yet. I mean, we're still quite far away from United right now. We still have eight more games to go, five points away from United, which they're currently, you know, as current standing, they might qualify for the conference league. But you know what? I believe anything is possible with our current form. The, uh, well, with the current form that we have, I believe we might be able to achieve that. But we will have to see. Still a long way to go. Eight more games to go in the league and also one game in the semifinal. I still don't quite know who we're going to play against. But it doesn't matter. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in a bit.